swingers what's going on mike swingman here giving you guys a video and in today's video we are going to go over the three steps on how to complete the team infinity 2 uh program pretty quick okay all right this video is usually you know I, I don't usually do these types of videos but you know what i was like you know what i'm gonna tell everybody what i usually do there are three simple steps now if you do have a better way of doing it hey i recommend you keep it your way but I've noticed that, you know, I've done it through this sequence of stuff to do that has worked best for me. And also what stadium to use. Okay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go over the three steps on how to complete Team Infinity the fastest. Let's go. All right, guys. So when it comes down to the first sequence of steps on how to complete the Team Infinity tool, okay, I'm not saying this is a glitch on how to completely complete the Team Infinity tool. I wish it was, but it, there are a couple things that, you know, it, once you do it, you're going to notice that it's going to go by quicker than what other people do it. Okay, and what do I mean by that? It's it, it's weird how that sounds. I know it works for me, but I got to tell you, you know, the first thing that I like to do first, me personally, I like to go, I do like, I go easy, hard, easy. Okay, and, and which one's that? Okay, I usually go to showdown first. Okay, once you go to showdown, once you complete... You know, all three, you got to do all three of them, which I have already done. Okay, I've already completed all three of my showdowns. That's where then after that, when you go to step two, step two, in my personal opinion, is when you go to the Conquest map. T t step two is hard. Not going to lie, guys. I know you guys don't like it. If you guys don't like Conquest, you got to like it because the cool thing about Conquest is that you get pretty cool rewards. Stop it. Not only that, also with the showdown rewards that you get for completing it, you can also use the players in the conquest when you're actually conquering strongholds. I recommend you do that, man. That's that's probably one of the biggest keys to do is using the rewards from showdowns in conquest. Okay. All right. So there's uh, many conquests. You got central, east, and west that you have to complete in order to get the rewards. Okay, now after you do the conquest, once you completed all three of those conquest maps, now it's just grinding. Now you just gotta legit just go into computer gameplay and just literally wail on a computer. Gone forever! Okay, and the best, I I'm gonna tell you guys right now, the best uh, stadium to go to when it comes to um, wailing into the computer and boosting your stats, that's how we say it, we're boosting our stats, um is definitely i now me personally i like the rockies i like facing the rockies the rockies uh, for some reason the, the hit the pitchers hang the ball or they it's flat when they throw it for some reason it's just me um if you have a team that you absolutely just like to pour 40 plus runs on um this is definitely that kind of a game okay so when you go i usually go home um you could go away but i think home games are a lot quicker that's why and not only that you get to choose the stadium that you want to be on so we go home and then not only that once you do that you can pick whatever player you want now for me i don't you know i'm just going to choose whatever i'm just giving you guys an example um now the, the stadium that i definitely recommend is called the hangar okay if you guys haven't had the hangar it's actually i think it's but by uh dwight shroot 23 i think it's what it is i recommend it the elevation is crazy here it's 5,000. okay you choose that you can go during the day um and go in or even nighttime actually believe it or not and uh just absolutely just crush it and hit dang dongs okay all right and if you don't like the hanger that's fine what you guys gotta do is just pick a ballpark that has high elevation and Pretty much, you don't want a little league field, but if, it, if it's allowed, get a little league field so that you can hit. It's easier to hit a home runs in. Okay, there's that park, and then on the on the minor league side, there's another park that I'm thinking of right here as we're coming through. Where is it? I know it's it's like pronounced like Long A. There it is. I'm just, I just actually I just passed through it. Capital Long A Park right here is a freaking sweet park. This is a good park to go at. They hit some ding dongs. The elevation is crazy here highly recommend you guys go and do so okay all right guys that is it for today's video it's a really quick one simple one it wasn't really a glitch even though it kind of when you do when you start incorporating these sequences you're going to start seeing it as you're going to complete the season faster 
Okay, because it is grind 99, like Ramon said. It's going to be a grind 99 kind of a season. Um, but I've noticed that this kind of sequence has worked. I've I've had buddies of mine that have tried it that have done really well with it. And I highly recommend you guys do it. Um, but if also, if you in the comment sections below, if you guys have a sequence that works best for you that you guys would like to share to this community, be sure to comment in the comment section below to help us out. Um, also, if you guys liked and enjoyed this video and it helped you guys out, be sure to hit that like button. And not only that, if you don't want to miss any future content on this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell notification button so that you guys are not missing any future content on this game. Guys, this is Mike Swingman. Wish you guys nothing but perfect perfects. Big boy, bitch, and I. See you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.